Thank you, thank you, and thank you to everyone who's putting on this wonderful event, uh, and especially Karen Lumberg, who is my cousin, as you mentioned, Nathan. Uh, so, I'll tell you just a quick bit about me. I am a parent of three sons here at the school, and when I'm not doing that, I am a writer. I'm supposed to kill this one. Okay. Ah, oh, right, because we're taping. And uh, I am a writer. I write non-fiction books. And what I like to do is I like to take a topic that I know nothing about and dive in and just immerse myself in it, learn everything about it. Uh, a few years ago, I decided to learn about health because I was not very healthy. I looked like I had swallowed a bowling ball. I just had a little stomach there. So I tried every diet that I could. I tried every exercise regimen that I could, including this is called the caveman workout, where you go to Central Park crawl around like a caveman. Uh, I did every test that you can imagine. That is, the, I, that is my sleep test. Do you think I got a good night's sleep that night? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure why, but I'm not going to great night's sleep. Another book I wrote was about the Bible, uh, because I knew nothing about the Bible, so I thought, I'm going to try to learn about the Bible by living it, by living as if I were biblical times. So I followed the Ten Commandments. Those are good ones. I, uh, I highly recommend those. Uh, but there are other rules in the Bible that not a lot of people know about. The Bible says you cannot shave the corners of your beard. I didn't know where the corners were. I'm not you. If you guys know, please tell me. So I just let the whole thing grow. And by the end, this is what I look like. So I, people would cross the street to get away from me. Uh, and then, uh, and sometimes I would even dress up. Uh, I did not have the sheep with me all the time. That was more of a rental sheep, just for photos. But sometimes I would dress like that. Now I was trying to think, what should be my next book? And about a year ago, I got an email from a guy, a man in Israel, and he said, I read one of your books. You don't know me, but I am your 12th cousin. And I was like, what? That is weird. Uh, I mean, part of me thought, okay, he's going to ask me to wire $10,000 in Nigeria. I thought he was going to scam me. But another part thought, okay, this is interesting. Uh, he said, I have a family tree with 80,000 people on it. And you guys know family tree. You, your grandparents, your parents, your grandparents, your cousins. So your normal family tree is what, like 50, 100 people? 80,000 people, that's enough cousins to fill Madison Square Garden five times. That's a lot of birthday presents that you buy. So I thought, okay, this is interesting. And I decided to look into it. And it turns out the field of family history, what's called genealogy, is in the middle of this crazy revolution because of, partly because of the internet. You put up your family tree, so your parents, grandparents, cousins. And if one of your cousins is on the family tree of someone else on the internet, then you can combine, you merge your family tree, and then you merge and combine and merge until you get these monster, mega family trees. And I'm on the biggest one right now in the world, in the history of the world. I will tell you how many people are my cousins. 77 million, It's actually, this is an old slide, it's now up to 80 million 500 thousand. So, this is very interesting because it means I've got all these cousins. I've got some of my friends from kindergarten are my cousins. And I've got cousins, uh, and my kids are also cousins with these people. So, to give you an example, my son Zane, is a distant relative of George Washington. <laughs> so here's how he is George Washington, his great aunt's fifth great aunt's husband, his great uncle's wife's great nephew. So they are, you know, practically father and son. Uh, then I've got my son Jasper, likes baseball. He's in a baseball game now. Turns out he is related to Luke Garrett. He is Luke Garrett is his aunt's seventh great aunt's husband. Seventh grade music husband. And then I've got another son, Lucas, who loves music. 
uh, he plays guitar. So turns out he is Sir Paul McCartney's second. Paul McCartney is of the Beatles. You guys might know. Uh, he's my second great dance, husband's first husband. So this is, I don't know if you've ever heard of the game Six Degrees of Kevin Disney. This is for that for the entire world. Everyone is interconnected. So that whole idea that we're one big family, it's true. We are one big family. We are all interconnected. So it's not just me and my son. It's every one of you are all related to everyone else in the world. You're related through marriage, like this. You're also related through blood. Because the farthest cousin you have on Earth, scientists say, is about a 70th cousin. So uh, a man in, in Borneo, uh, he is your probably your 65th cousin. Everyone here in this room, you're probably between 5th and 18th cousins. So I love this idea. And I was like, this is my next one. So I've been traveling around the country talking to my cousins. And uh, interviewing the uh, famous cousins and, and not so famous cousins. And my hope is, once we spread this message, then it'll dawn on people, yeah, we are in the same family. Maybe we should treat each other with a little more kindness. So that's my hope with this big, with this project. So I have been there, I met and interviewed my cousin, George H.W. Bush. Uh, and I told him he was related to George Clooney. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, I had this is Daniel Radcliffe, who is uh, the uh, Harry Block Potter, who plays Harry Potter. Uh, and then uh, some other cousins are Ricky Gervais, who uh, kids know from the, uh, the Muppets movie, he played the bad guy, uh, and Dr. Oz, and then a super, I felt it was important to be a supermodel. And of course, so I met her. Now, so I had all of these cousins, and I thought to myself, all right, what should I do with this information? And that's when I decided I am going to throw a party. And it's going to be called the Global Family Reunion. And it is next year, June 6, 2015. And you are all invited, because it is going to be the biggest, most inclusive, most entertaining family reunion in history. Oh, there's another cousin. And uh, it is going to be a family reunion, sort of meets a TED talk, because uh, it will have speakers all day long, interesting speakers. We're going to have games for kids. There's going to be a scavenger hunt related to family. Uh, there will be music. There's a group called Sister Sledge. You guys ever hear of We Are Family? You ever hear that song? They are going to be there singing We Are Family. And, it is, and it's going to be a movie. There's a guy named Morgan Spurlock who he did a movie called Super Size Me where he ate nothing but McDonald's. You know that one? So uh, he's making a movie out of it. I'm writing a book out of it. It's going to be uh, a fundraiser for Alzheimer's, which I don't know if you guys know this disease, but it, it's, it's a terrible disease that older people get and it wipes away your memory. And my grandfather had it, and I feel it's very important. If we're getting thousands of people together, let's do it for good cause. So, I don't know if you guys have ever been to the Maker Fair. Have you been to the Maker Fair? Okay, great. I love that event. So we're doing it at the same place as the Maker Fair, New York Hall of Science. And it will be kind of like the Maker Fair, but with lots and lots of cousins. Everyone is invited, uh, and I hope that you will reserve the day. And with that, I will turn it back to Karen. I will be doing a little uh, classroom workshop later to teach you if you want to be related to uh, Beyonce or uh, Abraham Lincoln or whoever you want. Uh, I'll be talking about how you can get on this enormous family tree. So thank you, my cousins. I had a great time.